Hello, everyone. Welcome to Introduction to Sociology. My name is Kathleen Adams, and I'm going to be your instructor this semester. Um, I hope y'all are looking forward to a fresh new semester here at Columbus Technical College. Um, and you know, if you are new, welcome to CTC. If you're a returning student, welcome back. All right, so let's get started um, today. My plan is just to kind of give you all a little orientation to, you know, what to expect this semester, your responsibilities as a student in this class. We'll go over the syllabus pretty briefly, and then I'll give you a little bit of a, of a rundown of how to navigate Blackboard um, in this class. All right, so let me pull up Blackboard here real quick so I can give you a little tour of our class and what to expect. All right, here we go. So we have here, so when you log in to our class, when you click on you know, SOCI 1101, Introduction to Sociology, when you come up to your Blackboard homepage and you click on that, this is what will appear on your screen um, generally. So you will land on like the home page, which is this announcements page. OK, this page is your best friend. All right. I try and stay really up to date with your announcements page. Um, I tend to post, you know, an announcement at the at least once a week kind of to keep you all on track with our course schedule, keep you know, in, in contact with y'all so you don't forget about me in our class um, and you, you know, kind of stay on track because it's a pretty easy class to keep up with. But, you know, if you let yourself fall behind, um, things can add up really fast and you'll have a lot of work to make up, um, which I don't want to see that happen to you. So this is your this page here, the announcements page. Consider it one of your new best friends. Um, and each announcement that I send out will also get sent to your Columbus Tech email address. So also, you know, keep uh, make sure that you're checking your Columbus Tech email pretty regularly. All right. Not just for my class, but for all of your classes. All right. So at the top of our announcements page, um, you'll see my office hours. Um, I'm recording this video for the summer 2022 class, but I'm going to use this video in future semesters. So um, just take a look at your home page up here and you'll see what my office hours are for that semester. Um, you can either come visit me in Patrick Hall in room 605 or, you know, I will also have virtual a link to a virtual office hours. Uh, in Blackboard Collaborate as well. So we can meet virtually. Um, you know, you can email me if you want to talk over the phone. Let me know. And if my office hours don't work for you, if you have a job and um, you can only talk later on in the day or you know, even need to talk with me over the weekend, send me an email and you know, we can work out our schedules so we can, uh, I can get in contact with you. All right, let's move on. You scroll down, you'll see there's a welcome announcement. So pretty much everything I'm going to go over in this video is also right here in text for you. Um, so I'm not going to spend too long on this announcement, but as you can see, it's pretty thorough. Uh, but this is everything we're going to go over in this little welcome video. All right, so that's our announcements page. So over here on the left, Right, you see um, your course menu. All right. So right below the announcements, you see course syllabus info. So we're going to click there. It's a good place to start. So in this um, link, so you'll see some instructions up top. It says read the instructor contact um, information, course section details, the course syllabus the CTC catalog and student handbook, 
and then we're going to complete the acknowledgement quiz at the bottom of the page. All right, so here's all our links within the course syllabus info section. So you have first my information. I'm Kathleen Adams. You have my email address right here. You have my contact phone number on campus. Um, keep in mind, I'm not always at in my office. Sometimes I'm in meetings or um, teaching classes, right? So uh, if you can't reach me by phone, leave a voicemail or shoot me an email and say, hey, I tried to call you. I couldn't reach you. Here's my phone number. Yeah, please call me back. Um, this is when I'm available. All right, we've got our term, our course type, uh, and if you're in an in-person class, we'll have your, your meeting days right there. Under that is our course syllabus. I'm going to click that and get that loaded up for us here. All right, let me share the syllabus tab. There we go. So here's our syllabus. So we're in Introduction to Sociology. Again, my phone number, my contact information, office hours. Then we have our required course textbook. The textbook is completely free to access for this class. Um, you, there's a link to it right here that you can click on. You can download it. Um, if you like to read off of a piece of paper, you know, you can print it, go to the library on Colum at Columbus Tech, and um, you know, they can, the librarians can help you, you know, figure out how to print that out. Um, there's also, I'll show you in a minute, within each um, weekly lesson, I have a PDF of just each individual chapter as well. So, you know, however you want to do it, if you want to click the link, you want to download the individual chapter PDFs, or you know, you want to print it out. Um, you have many options there for your textbook. And again, it's free. No need to buy anything. Now, this is the most important part. So keep this in mind here below. Our course evaluation. How are you graded in this class, right? What is expected of you? So 10% of your grade comes from your weekly attendance assignment, which I'll show you in a moment. But keep that in mind. If you don't complete your weekly attendance, the, the maximum grade you can get in the class is uh, a 90%, right? Because attendance is worth 10% of the grade. So you want to make sure you're completing that every week. It's super easy. I'll show you in a minute. And this goes for even if you're in an online class, you still have to complete the attendance assignment. All right. Second, 20% of your grade is going to come from, we have six written assignments throughout the semester um, that you'll need to complete. So that's 20%. The third aspect of your grade, 30% of the grade, is going to be derived from 14 chapter quizzes. So pretty much every week in this class, we're going to have a quiz on you know, each chapter that we go over. Now, two important notes here. You have two attempts for each quiz. So you have two chances. All right, so if you take the chapter one quiz this week, and let's say you make an 80%, you don't do as well as you hoped that you would do, right? You can go back. You can take it a second time um, and hopefully make 100 the next time around. All right, so you have two attempts for each quiz. And on top of that, at the end of the semester, I drop your lowest quiz grade. All right, so if you do get, say, a C, a 75% on one quiz, um, but you get you know 90s to 100s on all the other ones, at the end of the semester, that 75 will get dropped off your grade total. And lastly, 40% um, of your grade, so the biggest chunk of your grade, comes from our four unit exams. So about once, um, about every four chapters in this class, 
uh, will have a unit exam to take. All right, um, which I will, you know, we'll go over reviews and um, also all of the questions that you see on the exam, you will have already seen on the chapter quizzes. So there's no surprises that I throw at you in any of the exams. So you should be very well prepared for those by the time we get to them. All right, so that's your course evaluation. That's how your grade is going to be calculated throughout the semester. So those exams, 40%, your weekly quizzes, 30%, six written assignments over the course of the semester, 20%, and your attendance every week is 10%. All right, course information. Uh, we've got um, your credit hours. You'll get three credit hours for this class um, to go towards your degree. And uh, just one more thing I want to point out right here, the importance of regular participation especially in online classes, I notice that sometimes students kind of fall off maybe after the first month or so um, in terms of logging in every day. And I understand y'all are in other classes, things get overwhelming. Um, I totally get it. But I just want to point out to you for um, the sake of, of letting you know, for Columbus Tech, there's policy that if you don't participate for more than 14 calendar days in the class, um, you will be withdrawn from the course. All right. So what counts as participation? Submitting an assignment. So one of those attendance assignments, a quiz, one of those written assignments, or an exam. What does not ever count as participation? is just logging into Blackboard, and accessing coursework. Okay, so you actually have to submit something in the class for you to count as having participated. And you have to do that at least every 14 days to avoid being withdrawn from the course. All right. Um, if something comes up in your life, I understand that happens and you're not able to you know, submit work for about two weeks, you need to email me. Please reach out to me. I'm a very understanding teacher. Um, I understand that things happen and sometimes life happens and we get a little behind. So if you are kind of falling behind in the class where you're coming close to this 14 day limit, send me a quick email. Let me know what's going on with you. And let me know your intention. You know, if something is happening in your life, but you completely intend to, you know, <clears throat> um, you know, get something submitted within the next, you know, few days, definitely send me an email because I can maybe, you know, I can extend that, I give you a few extra days to, so I don't have to withdraw you. All right. And last thing I'm going to go over in the syllabus is the course description, in case you're wondering what the heck this class is all about. Um, so here we are. We're going to explore sociological analyses of society, culture, social structure. Sociology is going to be presented as a science with an emphasis placed on our methodology and theory. And we're going to go over a number of different topics throughout this course. Um, we'll start out with some basic sociological concepts, some intro. We'll talk about research methods and theories, all that fun stuff. Um, and then we'll get into you know, things like our socialization, our social interaction and culture, social groups and institutions, deviance, crime, social control, uh, social stratification and inequalities, um, things like you know race and ethnicity, gender, sexuality, um, social change, things like social movements, revolutions, things like COVID-19, um, as well as you know we'll talk about relationships and marriage and family um, and a number of other topics throughout the semester. So. We'll be covering quite a bit um, over the course of the semester together. All right, so 
all I'm going to go over in our syllabus, that's kind of the main, um, those are the main points here. Now, let me pull back up. I'm going to pull back up, excuse me, there we are, our Blackboard course. All right. So we went over the syllabus. Under that, you have the catalog and student handbook information. You have some information about our work ethics at Columbus Tech. And down at the bottom here, you see this link to the acknowledgement. This is super important for all of your classes at Columbus Tech. Just get in, complete this as soon as possible, because if you don't complete it, you will be dropped from the class, all right? Um, and in my class, you won't be able to complete any assignments until this acknowledgement is submitted. So click that acknowledgement. I'll just click into it so you can know what to expect here. So you're going to click begin. It's some pretty simple questions. I've reviewed the course syllabus. I'm aware of the requirements. I've reviewed the course catalog. I've reviewed the course schedule. We in just a moment. Um, the catalog and student handbook. There are four exams in this class. The exam average is worth, if you remember from the syllabus, 40% of the final grade. At the end of the semester, the instructor will drop my lowest quiz Score. Yes, that's true. Your written assignment submissions are going to be at least 200 words. They're worth what percent? 20 percent of your final grade. Average quiz score is worth 30 percent of your final grade. That's true. Attendance is worth 10 percent of my final grade. True. And I can reach my instructor the following ways, emailing me, um, there's an Ask the Instructor discussion forum, which we'll get to, or visiting during office hours. True. Then you submit that, and there you go. Your acknowledgement will be submitted. So make sure you do that as soon as possible, because then we can get you started in the class. All right. Now, let me go back. So that's our course syllabus info link. Back over here to the left, we're in our course menu. Click on attendance. All right, remember attendance worth 10% of the final grade in this class. Every week in this class, virtual students, you need to log in by Thursday. Between Monday and Thursday is when you can submit this every week. And you have to complete a really simple attendance assignment and the absolute deadline for this every week is 11.59 p.m. on Thursday. I'm pretty lenient with other assignments about accepting them late, but the one thing I will not accept late from you are these attendance assignments. You have to log in between Monday morning and Thursday night and submit this super quick, easy um, assignment, okay? So, Letting you know up front, no late submissions on the attendance assignments. If you're in an in-person class, you don't need to worry about this because your attendance will be physically showing up to class on campus. All right. But virtual students, pay attention. All right. So we're going to click this link, weekly attendance assignment up top. Here's our instructions. Every week by 11.59 on Thursdays, you need to complete this assignment to receive credit. You won't be able to see the attendance link after this time. No late submissions. Again, um, turning in another assignment. If you turn in a quiz or an exam or a written assignment, that does not count as your weekly attendance grade. You have to submit this specific assignment to get credit for attendance. Logging into the class does not count as attendance, all right? However, if you do miss the attendance submission, which is due by Thursday, you should still complete the other assignments that are due that week, all right? Um, you'll get a zero for attendance, but, you know, you don't want to get a zero for the quiz or an exam. So here we go. Attendance assignment 
super simple, should only take you a couple minutes to complete every week between Monday and Thursday. So what you're going to do is log in. You're going to see these links like this, attendance week one, right? Um, then we're going to open it up and notice right here I have the question that you're going to answer every week. Within the text box that shows up when we click on the link, you're going to answer this question. What assignments are due by Sunday that week? To answer that question, you can either check the announcements page or you can check our course schedule, which, which will be the next link that, that we go over here. I also have, there's some detailed instructions for how to submit this um, right here. So let me just show you an example. So we'll do attendance week one. She's um, going to be due again on Thursdays by 11.59. So you're going to open this up. And you're going to click write submission. Okay, and then this text box shows up. And then remember our question, what's to do by Sunday for week one? So we haven't gone over the schedule yet, but I'm just going to tell y'all right now what's due on Sunday, week one. Y'all are going to have the acknowledgement due. We just went over. You're also going to have uh, a written assignment on the NASA REMA, which we'll, I'll show you in a minute, and the chapter one quiz is going to be due by Sunday on week one of the class. All right, and double check, you know, double check your course schedule, make sure that's all right, everything will be laid out in there, so I'm, that'll be the next thing we go over. So there you go. You go, come in, you click write submission, you tell me what's due on Sunday of that particular week. I'm showing you week one right now. Then you click submit. And I'm not in student mode, so it didn't work, but uh, it'll work for y'all. Okay. So there you have it. And then I'll show up on our grade book and you will get credit for your week's attendance. And you're going to do that every single week. And you'll be able to um, submit that between Monday morning and Thursday night. So you have to log in every week and stay active in the course. All right, what's next? Over here on our course menu, we did attendance. So we're going to go under that is the course schedule. Definitely stay up to date with this right here. Um, I have it all like in text form for you or there's a PDF that you can open up and refer to as well. Let me get that loaded up. All right, so this is our course schedule. Again, I'm noting up top, attendance is due every Thursday for virtual students. All other assignments in this class, the quizzes, the written exams, uh, assignments and the exams are gonna be due by Sunday every week. Now keep in mind, I don't always, you know, check my email every second of the day on the weekends. So that's also why I have you all do the attendance by Thursday. So if you have any questions, concerns, hopefully you all will email me, you know, by Thursday so I can check my email and get back to you. Because I might miss your email if you email me on Sunday evening at 9 p.m. All right, keep that in mind. Uh, but you'll see here in our course schedule, I've got a week by week breakdown. So here's week one. We're going to um, have a little reading. It's not too bad. And then you're going to write kind of your reaction to this reading, a little introductory exercise. Then you've got chapter one of the textbook, and I have a little PowerPoint for chapter one. You're going to need to submit your attendance for this week by Thursday, 11.59 p.m. And then there's three assignments this week. You'll have a syllabus acknowledgement, the first written assignment, 
on the Nasarima reading and the first quiz. All right, and then, you know, depending on what semester you're in, just scroll down, look at this course schedule, but you'll see, you know, there's a breakdown of every week. You'll have your lesson and your readings, your attendance submission when that's due, and then any assignments that are due. Close that up. <clears throat> okay. So that's our course schedule. So whenever you do that attendance assignment every week, just check into this. Make sure um, you know you're putting the right assignments that are going to be due for that appropriate week. All right. So those are the basics. Then under that, you've got kind of the um, the meat and potatoes of this class. You're going to click on content and assignments. Now on this page, um, you're not going to be able to see any of this content here that I can see until you submit the syllabus acknowledgement. So remember, first thing you really want to do in this class is click on course syllabus info and take that acknowledgement assignment. Um, to kind of confirm your enrollment in the class for this semester. Once you do that, these first two links are going to show up for you. The Body Ritual Among the Nasarima and Unit 1. And these will be things that are due this week. So you're going to click Body Ritual Among the Nasarima. This is just a little introductory reading and exercise, get you all to start thinking, you know, sociologically and critically. Um, I'll let you all read these uh, instructions in your own time so I can keep this video as short and sweet as I can. Um, but you'll see there's a reading here. So you'll click on that reading. Um, let's see if I can pull this up quickly. Here's the reading. It's called Body Ritual Among the Nasarima by this guy, Horace Minor. And you're going to read this. It's about five pages, not even five pages, a little over four pages of reading. Okay, pretty easy read. Um, so give that a look over. Let's pull back this up. All right. So you're going to read that. Then you're going to click this next link, the explanation, which I've written up for you, um, which is kind of my explanation for why I have you read this piece uh, and, you know, maybe why Horace Minor wrote that piece. And once you read both of those things, you're going to click on this discussion tab here. All right, you're going to click create thread and you're going to answer these questions down at the bottom. Who are the Nasarima? What made it difficult to identify who they are? What are the techniques and words that Horace Minor uses to describe them? What rituals does he describe? Uh, and so on, right? My explanation here is going to help you all a lot with answering those questions. Um, so make sure you read that as well and create your thread and post that in the discussion board. So that's one of your week one assignments. And then once you have completed that, we're going to do chapter one this week. So you'll click unit one and you'll see chapter one right up top, introduction to sociology. We're going to talk about what is sociology the history, um, some theoretical perspectives, and why study it. <laughs> so you'll click in there, and pretty much every chapter is going to look the same. I have them all set up pretty similarly. So, you know, up top I'll have a little graphic or a quote or something that kind of signifies what we're going to be talking about that week. Under that, you'll have your textbook reading with the PDF of the chapter. Under that, depending on the week and the chapter, I might have an additional reading for you. I don't always, um, 
but for this particular week, there's um, an additional reading called the Sociological Imagination. Uh, and then under that, we have um, our PowerPoint, kind of the weekly lesson, my breakdown of what to really focus on um, for each chapter. And by the way, any quiz question or answer to a quiz question is going to be found in these PowerPoints. So these PowerPoints are your friends. Um, and then under that, I have videos that I've just recorded um, very recently um, with lectures for each chapter. So you've got the chapter one lecture here from my little YouTube channel. Um, so you can uh, listen to me kind of explain the PowerPoints to you. And then under that, you've got a helpful videos um, link, which will have, click into this one. So for every chapter, you know, depending on what, what we're going over that week, I'll have some additional like video content um, that y'all, that I think might help you kind of understand some of the stuff we're talking about a little bit more. So that'll be in every uh, module. And then once you kind of like browse through all of that, um, you'll have a link at the bottom for the quiz for that week. You'll click there. I'll always have a little quiz study guide posted for you to give you kind of the key terms that you want to be um, you know, knowledgeable about before you click into the quiz. So for this first week, these are the terms you're going to want to know um, once you stop, uh, once you've gone through all the chapter one material. And then you'll click on the quiz right here and take that. Um, and then once you get that submitted, you've submitted the submit syllabus acknowledgement, your weekly attendance, um, the NASA RIMA written assignment, and that chapter one quiz and you'll be done with your week one assignments. All right. And then next week we can start worrying about these other links down here for chapter two and chapter three and chapter four and so on. Um, I do want to point out uh, at the end of every unit, so unit one is going to be chapters one, two, three, and four. And you'll notice at the bottom here, um, so at the end of every unit, there'll be a written assignment and an exam. But we will come to that bridge when we cross it. Um, don't worry, I'll make sure y'all are well prepared uh, when we get to that written assignment and exam for unit one. All right, so back to... Oh, and then one more thing, um, there are four units in the class, okay? So we're going to have unit one, chapters one through four, we'll have unit two, chapters five, six, seven, and nine, chapter unit three, chapters 10 through 13, and then unit four is a short unit toward the end of the semester, just two chapters, 14 and 21. All right, that's a little kind of roadmap for where we're going. Now, underneath content and assignments, back to our course menu, you've got grades and communication link. This is also your friend. Um, so if you ever want to check your grade book, see how you're doing in the class, see what's coming up to be due, see if you've missed anything and you've gotten any zeros, you want to click that grades and communication link and click my grades. All right, and that'll take you to your grade book. You got my instructor. This will take you to my contact information again. You got the send email link. Um, you can send an email through your Columbus Tech email, or you can click this link. Make it easy peasy. Send me a quick message. Then I do want to highlight this. You have the Ask the Instructor discussion forum. I'm going to click into this one. Um, Obviously, semester hasn't started yet, so I don't have any messages, but if you have like a general question about the class that you think maybe other students might have also, um, go ahead and post your question in here. Um, so that way, you know, if other students check the discussion board, 
they might benefit from your question as well, right? So you're going to click here, create your thread, and then you know, put a subject line and ask your question, post it, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Back to our grades and communication link. We got the Ask the Instructor discussion forum. Under that, I just have a little reminder about you know, your course evaluation and how that's determined. And under that, you can open up the discussion grading rubric. Um, so when it comes to your written assignments in this class, um, if you want to know like how I grade these written assignments, you can click in here. Um, essentially, you know, I'm going to look for, did you answer each question of the discussion prompt? Um, I'll determine, you know, the knowledge and understanding of the content and how you apply it. And then I'll also consider, you know, your grammar, your organization, and your word count. But again, we'll get back to um, a lot of these details on the discussion and written assignments. Um, we get a little closer. And then under that, you've got Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. If you ever want to meet virtually with me, um, I'll send you a link. But you can also access um, kind of our virtual meeting space through this link as well. All right, one more link to go over, online resources over here on the course menu. So here you got the link to our textbook again. I'll click there just to show y'all. Um, sociology textbook, it's free. Open this. This web page will show up for you. Here's our, ah, okay, <laughs> there we go. Here's our textbook. Um, so this is, it starts out with chapter one. You can click this menu over here and you'll see now this is our introduction, our chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, you got all your chapters over here on the left menu. Now, we go back to our online resources link. Under that, just some more like general Columbus Tech information and resources. You have Blackboard help for students. If you're ever having issues with Blackboard, especially if you're working, you know, over the weekend, um, and you know, our, our IT department isn't, you know, we're um, in the office to help you. This is here to help you, so you can click into that link, see if they can um, figure out what issue you're having um, and address that. Under that, you have information about our Academic Support Services Labs at Columbus Tech. Um, you know, we have a writing lab. Uh, if you're you know, needing a little bit of help with like writing one of our discussions or organizing, um, we also have a science support lab, a math support lab, a computer lab. Um, so definitely if you need any help, we have resources for that and um, people who volunteer, teachers who volunteer their time on campus to help you all out um, and give you kind of more one on one support. Under that, you have the smart thinking tab. Um, this is a 24 seven uh, tutoring program that Columbus Tech pays for. This is part of your tuition. So again, especially if you work, do a lot of your schoolwork over the weekends and you can't come into these labs, right? Log into Smart Thinking. There are tutors for just about every subject that we offer here at Columbus Tech. Um, so you can log in there, you know, say what class you need help with and um, they'll put you into contact with someone some sort of expert around the country at different colleges and universities um, that can help you through any assignment you're working on. 
Under that, you got Galileo. This is a link to Georgia's virtual library. So all sorts of resources within here. Um, if you're taking any of like the English classes, I know y'all will be working in Galileo. You're going to need to find some resources through there. Let's see, films on demand. You got a whole library of free videos, documentaries, movies in there um, that also is already paid for through your tuition. Um, so check out uh, some of the movies in there. Uh, and then uh, you got an Echo 360 library, which I'm still working on uh, organizing mine. So you don't need to worry too much about that last tab there. But there we are. I'm going to come back to our home page, our announcements page. And let me scroll down in this announcement. There we go. And I'm going to leave you with this information. Um, and again, if you're not, if you're watching this in a future semester, uh, make sure you just click into the announcements page and make sure you got your due dates right. Um, the dates will be different. But during the first week of this class, you have four things you have to submit. Um, two of them should not take you very long at all. The other two take you a little bit of time. So the two that won't take you very long, get in, submit that first week's attendance assignment, and submit your acknowledgement, the syllabus acknowledgement quiz. And then the other two take a little bit more time um is, are the the nasarima written assignment and your chapter one quiz and remember attendance assignments are due every thursday by 11 59 i do not accept those late um, and all other assignments are due by sunday every week all right so welcome to the class um Back up. Hope y'all are looking forward to the semester. Hopefully this wasn't too overwhelming. Um, we have an entire semester to go through all of this. So I know I went over a lot just now, but take your time, breathe. We'll go one week at a time, okay? Um, reach out to me again, my contact information, if you have any questions as we get started here. And I'm really looking forward to this semester with you. I really love reading y'all's discussion assignments when those are due so I can get to learn a little bit about you um, and your perspectives on a lot of what we're going to be talking about. Um, all right. Well, good luck in all of your classes this week once you, you know, get acclimated to all your, your new teachers and your new courses. Um, and... I look forward to communicating with each and every one of you throughout the semester. Um, don't ever hesitate to ask me a question or reach out to me. All right. Thank you all. I hope you have a great, great week. And talk to you soon. Bye.